Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday, the 15th of December 2021. So a big day today. Uh, the market waiting for the Fed's decision on interest rates uh, tonight at the FOMC. We all know it's not going to change. Uh, it's going to remain unchanged. But uh, there is a uh, press conference uh, as well with tonight. So it's uh, a very important one. It's the quarterly one where Powell actually makes a statement. So yesterday, in anticipation of this, the stock bond and commodities crumble as dollar rips ahead of Fed. So much for the pre-Fed ramp. You could get that before uh, they speak later today, or it could be post uh, whatever he, he says uh, later. So the market's waiting for the Fed. Yeah, TikTok indeed, as uh, we've known since Monday. Just uh, waiting for it to turn up. Uh, 7 p.m. this evening, GMT. FOMC preview, will the Fed turbo taper and will it hike two or three times in 2022? And I think the answer is no to both, to be honest with you. Uh, tomorrow, the Fed will make its policy mistake even bigger. I mean, it was obviously today now, as I record this. This was out uh, last night. Uh, absolutely, they're going to make it uh, worse. If they go ahead with the taper, absolutely. Uh, more debt at Dems boost ceiling by 2.5 trillion. Responsible governing has won on this exceedingly important issue. Again, incredible. I don't know, just keep piling it on, don't they? And uh, to look forward to Friday, we've got uh, 4.3 trillion reasons to be nervous into Friday's option expiration. It's uh, not the economy, it's the positioning stupid, which means that uh, when you've got uh, 4.3 trillion on Friday of gambling instruments expiring, it's going to be a volatile Thursday and Friday, isn't it? Uh, news for today, we've got uh, the UK uh, CPI. This will be an interesting one as well. Forecast to be higher at 4.8 from 4.2. And then we go over to the US uh, for the economic news at 1.30, core retail sales and retail sales and Empire State Manufacturing. And then the biggie is tonight, so where we get uh, the FOMC, and you can see the projection is to keep interest rates unchanged, but it's the statement and the press conference that's going to be the important one there. So let's start off with the markets, have a look at uh, the Dow. And uh, we can see that uh, yesterday, that uh, the Dow uh, had a down day, moved to the 20 bar moving average. A uh, bit of support there, as you can see, and also the uh, 50 bar moving average. The market uh, bouncing off this overnight. You can also see that we've got a bit uh, of buying support coming in there as well as prices sit on this level. So waiting for uh, the Fed later, that's for sure. So it could be fairly quietish until uh, Powell uh, speaks later, but these are the upside targets. I'll just drag these out so that uh, you can see them a bit more clearly. That's the upside targets on the FIBS. If the market does move up before the Fed actually uh, make the statement uh, later this evening. In the 30 minute chart uh, for yesterday, the market uh, fairly choppy. It did move up uh, sharply originally, we were up on 200. 250 points before the market uh, found some selling pressure at the recent high and also the 200 MA and then sailed to the downside until he found support at, uh, where are we here? Let's just have a, a look. We were down at 35,450. That's the blue line there. And uh, we were oversold on the stochastics. They crossed over and they brought the market back. The moment we're above the DP, we need to take out the 50 bar moving average and the high of the end of yesterday's uh, trading session there. Well, say high, uh, the last 30 minutes high bar uh, at the 50 bar moving average as well. These are highlighted automatically, but they need to be taken out in order to move higher. In the DAX, a bit of a different picture here. We can see that uh, the market came through the 38% uh, yesterday, quite a a move to the downside market uh, held at the 200 MA on Monday, Tuesday, sitting on this, uh, sorry, on Tuesday, it uh, came down to the uh, 200 MA. And then of course, overnight, uh, we're seeing the market being supported by this in the daily chart at the moment. A 50% retracement, very important, the market managing to get back above this yesterday, I was going to remove the 38, give a clearer picture, and back on the upside, from uh, this uh, red line to this green line is where we would measure this uh, fab, uh, fib from uh, to and from and if we just uh, drag these out again you can see where 
we've got uh, some upside targets should the DAX move back with the Dow in uh, anticipation of whatever Powell's going to say. And if not, watch out for the 50 uh, percent uh, fib retracement and also the low of uh, yesterday being taken out with a potential move to the downside there so in the dow two minute we didn't have any signals in the morning the market uh, moving higher from the support already found in the futures market prices then drifting lower before a bit of a bounce and then uh, again bouncing off the dp but once it broke convincingly the market then moved uh, to the downside Traded sideways in a range moved uh, lower as the Dow futures uh, opened in New York. And in the afternoon session, there were three trades, uh, two winners, one loser. And unfortunately, the loser was uh, quite a big one if you stayed in the trade, uh, which we'll look at uh, in just a, a bit more detail. So starting off with the first one, the market uh, on a, a long. I'll just draw this in again. And then prices closing back below the five bar moving average, which we can see up here. This resulting in, as uh, we just move that to there, into a 14 point potential profit. We then had uh, the market uh, moving lower. And again, we'll see prices finding support at the BRN, closing back above the uh, five bar moving average there. And this one resulting in 19 points. So we have 33 points there. But of course, in the last trade, had you have not uh, come out of the trade where prices came back below the or closed below the five bar and the 50 bar moving average there, it's a 32 point loss, otherwise a uh, 15 point loss from uh, entry to a close below these uh, average lines there. So really nothing on the activity of yesterday in the market waiting for the Fed. It's that sort of Tuesday uh, feeling as it were waiting for a Wednesday Fed statement which is not uncommon but overnight uh, the market uh, finding a bit of support uh, along with the Dow futures uh, bringing the market back up uh, you can see the market gapping higher initially and then uh, trading sideways and sitting at yesterday's close waiting for the uh, markets to open it's uh, very early at the moment it's only uh, 10 to 5 so uh, it's fairly quiet at uh, the moment. So in the silver market, we can see that uh, the price was hammered to the downside yesterday. No surprise there. Uh, managing to come back above the 89%, but already overnight we're starting to see weakness. We're going to go through the 2140 level with uh, no problems whatsoever. It's going to be $20 where the market is going to find a significant support. If we break $20, then uh, we're going all the way back down to uh, 15 would be uh, my guess. Uh, they're certainly giving it uh, uh, some hammering on the downside at the moment. It's incredible because the premiums and the shortages are certainly not reflected in what is going on in this market at this time. But there's nothing we can do about it except watch it do what it is going to do. In the gold market, a bit more resilient, uh, trading sideways, holding at the 89% retracements that we've got in there at the moment bit stronger and if we look at the gold silver ratio you'll also see that we're at 80 so that means that silver is weaker than gold which is self-evident when we look at the price chart there and apparently the reason was the massive move to the upside yesterday I don't call it massive myself but dollar spiking to the upside yesterday as it rolls over from the December to the March 22 contract Okay, that will do it uh, for today. Let's see what happens when Powell speaks at uh, 7 p.m. It's certainly going to be interesting, that's for sure. That'll do it for this one. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.